Hello friends, how you doing? Due to some medical condition of one of our key members, we were off, but we're back again with some latest and interesting space updates. We'll begin with SpaceX's Crew-4 mission, making a time record, then we'll move on to Musk, revealing a new batch of Raptor V2 engines, and we'll wrap up with an Emirati astronaut to become part of a long-duration mission in the future. So let's start with the latest Crew-4 mission that docked with the International Space Station in a record time. On the 27th of April at 3.52 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, SpaceX launched the Crew-4 mission aboard a Falcon 9 rocket from Pad 39A of NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The mission was carried out on a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule named Freedom. Nearly 15 hours and 45 minutes after launch at 7.37 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Crew Dragon finally docked with the International Space Station making SpaceX to hit the record minimum time to reach the space station in their Crew Dragon launch history. Jessica Jensen, SpaceX's Vice President of Customer Operations and Integration, said, I'd say it's sort of a little bit of luck as to how we wound up in this. You can vary by 10 to 20 hours of phasing, just so you know, in a day or two. It's not really that we changed anything, it's just the orbital mechanics of where the ISS is and where it's coming over Florida. Earlier in 2020, during their first crewed flight of Demo-2, SpaceX's spacecraft took almost 19 hours to reach and dock with the station. This latest Crew-4 mission, with a less than 16-hour record, is only the highest in SpaceX history. But in the space industry, Russia's Soyuz spacecraft holds the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to the station just within a time of 3 hours and 3 minutes. Russia created this record in October 2020. The Crew-4 mission launched three NASA astronauts and one European Space Agency astronaut to the space station. Among the four crew, Crew-4 Commander Kjell Lindgren, Pilot Robert Hines, and Mission Specialist Jessica Watkins were from NASA, while Mission Specialist Samantha Cristoforetti is a member of the European Space Agency. Now the Crew-4 astronauts on the International Space Station will go for a six-month stay in space. Regarding SpaceX's recent fastest docking record, NASA's commercial crew program manager Steve Stitch said, This is the fastest launch to dock that we've done. It's about the same time it takes to go from New York to Singapore, so it's kind of interesting. This short rendezvous was pretty favorable for us. We can get to the station a little quicker and we can do the preparations we need once we dock to get the Dragon ready for the EVA. On the 28th of April, NASA astronaut Robert Hines, who was also the United States Air Force fighter pilot, stated that the ride to space in a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft is the first mission for both him and SpaceX's Freedom spacecraft. For him, the Dragon trip to space station was an eye-watering experience that surpassed his fighter jet flying experience. One of the things we used to say in fighters is, down low, the faster you go, the faster you'll get, he said. Hines also said, this is just the opposite. The higher we got, the faster we went, and it was just incredible. That rocket ride, especially on the second stage, was just really eye-watering. It was awesome. Kjell Lindgren, a NASA astronaut and commander of Crew-4 mission, said, The Freedom capsule was a really smooth ride, and the Gs were pretty amazing. Report says that Samantha Cristoforetti, a veteran astronaut from the European Space Agency, had thanked other crew in station as Crew-4 starts their six-month journey in space. Christopher Eddy said, They're getting a lot of work done with us as we're getting our space legs, so a heartfelt thank you for this wonderful welcome. Sources state that the four astronauts had not only enjoyed the SpaceX spacecraft, but also they began enjoying the views of space from Dragon. Watkins, too, praised the view as the crew was arriving at the space station. Watkins said, We could see the space station kind of off in the distance, but super bright with the solar arrays shining towards us. The Earth below is just absolutely gorgeous. We're super excited to be here and to see more of those amazing views. 
Now, the Expedition 67 crew present in the space station will work together closely in the approaching weeks for upcoming space operations. In our next update, Musk reveals a new batch of Raptor 2 rocket engines that were kept in SpaceX Starbase for integration later. Recently, on the 26th of April, Musk tweeted an update on the Raptor 2 engine. He wrote, Raptor 2 rocket engines at Starbase, each producing over half a million pounds of force. Musk had also shared a view of the batch of new, ready-to-be-installed Raptor 2 engines at the SpaceX Starbase facility in Texas in the tweet. It's expected that sooner or later those engines will be used on that Starship rocket, which will bring up the first orbital flight of Starship later this year. This recent tweet of Musk is gaining popularity, as some of the SpaceX fans have compared the new batch of Raptor 2 engines with the Daleks of a popular science fiction show named Doctor Who. As per reports, Musk's photo showed almost a dozen of the new rocket engines, but it's expected that the streamlined shape of the Raptor 2 with less number of plumbing outside gave it a more Dalek-like resemblance, which gave rise to the new idea among SpaceX fans. Musk had earlier stated that Raptor V1 looks like a Christmas tree spaghetti pile, a lot of fibbly bits. Thus, SpaceX made Raptor V2, greatly simplified while also increasing thrust at the same time. Some SpaceX fans had compared Elon to Davros, the creator of the Daleks, for his similarity between Raptor 2 and Daleks. Turns out Elon has created Daleks. Elon is Davros, some wrote. It was only a matter of time before he started building Daleks. Though the Daleks were evil in the fiction, SpaceX's Raptor 2 will be the workhorse engine for SpaceX's Starship rockets and their massive Super Heavy boosters. We'll wrap up with an update on Emirati astronauts to become part of a long-duration space station mission. On the 29th of April, Axiom and the UAE's Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center announced that they've recently signed an agreement. As per reports, the agreement states that an Emirati astronaut will be sent to the ISS and that astronaut will be sent on the SpaceX Crew-6 mission, which is scheduled for launch in early 2023. Sources state that Axiom had already received a seat from NASA in exchange for a Soyuz seat. Thus, this recent agreement was easily carried out. For NASA, Axiom is an alternative to work with Roscosmos indirectly. As for now, Axiom had purchased the Soyuz seat from Roscosmos, and presently they'd given it to NASA in exchange for a seat on a future commercial crew mission. Michael Suffredini, president and chief executive of Axiom Space, said, Axiom Space is proud to provide MBRSC with a flight opportunity for a UAE astronaut, enabling its first long-term mission to the ISS. Till now, the UAE has not revealed the names of those astronauts who will fly on that mission. Report says that the UAE has an astronaut core of four people. Out of those four astronauts, two are presently training with NASA's astronauts. Haza Al-Mansouri is one of those four astronauts. He became the first Emirati in space when he flew on a Soyuz mission nearly three years ago. Salim Almari, former Deputy Director General and present Director General of UAE's Space Center, said the center was looking at various options to fly the country's next astronaut. Their sphere of options varies from short-duration commercial missions to partnership missions with the United States and Russia. The Emirati astronaut selected to fly on Crew-6 will be the second person from the UAE to go into orbit, and he will also become the first astronaut from a country who is not a partner of the International Space Station. Elmari said, This will pave the way for future initiatives that will contribute to strengthening the UAE's position as a leading nation in the world of space exploration. Hamad Obaid Al-Mansouri, chairman of Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center, said, they reflect the vision of the UAE, which positions space exploration as an opportunity for enhanced cooperation between countries and entities in pursuit of the common goals of scientific discovery and a sustainable future for humanity. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.